nice what's good youtube got a quick little diy video for y'all today we're going to be doing a brake fluid flush on an e46 so some of the tools you'll need jack jack stands i'm going to use a motor power bleeder to make this job so much easier and so much faster you're going to need a reservoir to collect the brake fluid because i consider myself semi-professional i'm going to use this fancy fluid extractor um of course new brake fluid a nine millimeter wrench and pretend this is a seven millimeter wrench for manual transmission cars to bleed the slave cylinder right you're not gonna waste any time let's get into it the first thing you want to do is put your car on jack stands boom just like that gonna move to the engine bay we already set the cap off in the intro so we're going to take our motive power bleeder cap. Switch that on. Make sure it's snug. Doesn't have to be overly tight. And watch your paint. Uh, if you want to be extra paranoid, throw a moving blanket on it. Done. Drop your brake fluid. And your power bleeder open the cap put this on something uh, that doesn't have rocks on it like a moving blanket open up the brake fluid make sure you use new brake fluid because old brake fluid likes to collect moisture like the fluid that we're replacing in your car. And just go ahead and pour that beautifully into the power reader. A little bit of ASMR action. Cap back on. Pump to 15 PSI. Okay. Now move to your, no, check for leaks. There's no leaks at the reservoir. We can start on our first cylinder, which for us is the one furthest from the master cylinder and the rear passenger tire. Your brake bleeder valve is located here, right there. There's a cap on it. Simply take the cap off. Take this cap off. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, this is like the hardest part. You make me look bad. You make me look bad. One moment, please. Now you want to take this cap off? Yeah, just like that. Thank you, editing. Grab your nine millimeter spanner. I like that word. Just because it's something that Americans don't use. Don't open it because the system's under pressure. Go get your fluid extractor. Now with the fluid extractor, you're gonna wanna close off the brake line first. You should hear a click. The line is now clamped off. And we can give it a few pumps. Just to get some vacuum in the system. Now we're gonna take our holes. So you can see the end of the fitting is meant to go on the focus. The end of the fitting is meant to go onto the brake bleeder. 
So we're gonna go back under the car. I'm going to attach this hole to our brake leader. <sighs> yeah, it's a super tight fit because it's new and unused. <laughs> now that we have our suction holes on, let's go ahead and crack that bleeder open. Is that good stuff right there? And we can undo our clamp. And through magic, we should be getting fluid, but we're not. Let's open it up a little more. There it is. There's all your old fluid. Don't worry about the air bubbles. It's not a perfect seal. It's probably leaking through the bleeder right there. But we're gonna wait until this changes colors to like a light gold and we'll move on to the next cylinder. Caliper, the next wheel, the next wheel. I don't know why I keep calling it cylinders. Wheel number two, looking pretty good. Wheel number three is done blah but now we're down to wheel number four now just so you guys this one since it is a front wheel same procedure take your little cover off focus take this cover off we're gonna move the brake sensor line out the way and there's our nipple take our suction holes place it over the nipple And there goes our brake fluid. Easy peasy, except for that. Yep, this was my fault. I forgot to unclip the hose, but that's what happens when you don't unclip this, is you'll get a little overflow. Just make sure you get a rag, wipe that down, get some brake cleaner gonna get on your wheel so you want to make sure it's nice and clean before you set the car back down which we'll clean that off later and for those that have a proper car don't forget to bleed the slave cylinder slave cylinder it is a seven millimeter i didn't have a seven millimeter combination wrench so i just used a quarter inch with the seven millimeter socket a little brake fluid came out but it was no big deal and we're all done under here so let's get back up to the top okay so back up to the top we want to release the pressure from the power bleeder first because if you open up the master cylinder you'll have a long day so just go ahead and twist the cap you will hear air escape and you will see brake fluid going back down into the, the reservoir here. Now you go up to the master cylinder and slowly unscrew this cap. Make sure no brake fluid squirts out. Should be all nice and clean. If it's a little low, just top it off. Throw your cap back on. Go inside the car. Check your pedal pressures. Make sure it's nice and stiff. Ooh, the clutch is not. So we may have air in the clutch. The brakes are good. 
also had a slight issue with the clutch, but I just gravity bled it. So now it's fine. Never panic y'all. And if you're wondering what I meant about gravity bleeding, let's go back under. It's fairly simple. Just crack open that bleeder valve. The power bleeder has no pressure on it. It's not really hooked up. And what you're gonna see is brake fluid just drip out. Just collect it into a container. And that's it. Do that for about a minute or so. Make sure to uh, make sure the master cylinder does not run dry, and you should be good to go. Simple as that. And oh yeah, this is the best part. Time to go for a test drive. huge difference a few quick notes after the test drive the brakes are so much firmer and I guess more linear is the word I'm looking for um, before the brake flush there were pockets of sponginess sometimes but now it's it's much better but now the brakes are they, they feel great they're firm they're consistent the car stops wonderfully this is a small little maintenance I can't even really call it a mod small little maintenance step just to make the car that much more I was gonna say more better just to make that car that much better so if y'all like this style of videos the little quick hits uh, let me know in the comment section if there's anything I can improve on still let me know if you want to criticize me let me know and I will see y'all in the next video